Hello, hello everyone. Welcome back to another Sonic Screwdriver video. In this one, we're gonna be taking a look at my custom 10th Doctor's Sonic Screwdriver or future 10th Doctor's Sonic Screwdriver. I actually gave it a few names over the years and I never quite settled on any of them. But yes, it has appeared on the channel quite a few times before. Uh, I think the last video was 2017. So yeah, five years, it's been a while. And in that time, I've given it a few upgrades. So yes, here we have my upgraded custom 10th Doctor's Sonic Screwdriver. And it's just sitting on one of these acrylic pen stands that I got off eBay. And yeah, it's a pretty good stand. And just stuck this Gallifreyan symbol on there to make it more Doctor Who-y. But uh, yeah, you can find them stands on eBay, just acrylic pen stand. But yes, let's take a look at the screwdriver itself, of course. So as you can see, it's a 10th Doctor's Sonic screwdriver and it's a custom Sonic screwdriver. <laughs> so I've gone for a black and silver color scheme here uh, with the red strip and red emitter tip, which I think suits it very well. It looks pretty good. And yeah, it started off life just as a normal 10th Doctor's Sonic Screwdriver. Um, I think it was the 2013 Diamond, Diamond Packaging release, um, where you get the four sounds and the awful UV LED. But yes, it started off life as one of these. And over the years, it's just been given a few upgrades and then a few more upgrades. And now it looks like this. So yeah, we'll uh, take a look. So we'll start off at the bottom, the bottom section here. And this also may be familiar to some of you uh, because it's from the future Sonic Screwdriver, River Song's Sonic Screwdriver. Basically, I just stole the end section from there, gave it a bit of weathering with the silver and black. And there you go, I think it looks pretty good. Blends in pretty well with this screwdriver here and moving up to the body. So the body of the Sonic screwdriver, obviously we all know how that started out. It looked exactly like this with the gray crackle. And yeah, I gave it a black and silver wash. You can actually still see some of the gray uh, that scraped through in places, actually some of the original crack crackle <laughs> but that's fine because obviously I've gone for this weathered look so I am fine with it being uh, a bit battered but uh, yeah you can see the strip here which was uh, used to be blue now it's red I actually painted that with some red nail varnish yes it looks very nice and shiny there in the lights you can see you can actually make out where the buttons used to be because obviously I filled in the buttons just before I gave the screwdriver a dark silver black wash <laughs> but you can still kind of make out where they were there and yeah of course don't need the buttons now because we've got the slider plate yes i've actually put this on here from a wand company 10th doctor sonic screwdriver which is why it's actually a bit of a different color to the rest of the screwdriver which you may notice there but i'm also fine with that because i think it makes it look like it's brass, um, but yeah, it's pretty cool. Can move up to the top, the collar section here and the emitter head section. Given this a wash in black boot polish, black shoe polish, yes, didn't use paint for this part. Um, originally when I did it, I did use shoe polish and then I've just added to it over the years. So more polish has been added. And I think that looks quite, quite good quite good uh, weathered look in there you can see it is inside as well and at the top but um, yeah I think it suits it pretty well and of course we've got the red dome the red emitter tip which is actually from a indicator panel some sort of electrical panel I actually seen that in person and I was like that would make a great sonic screwdriver emitter and it fits on here pretty well had to do a bit of sanding but you can see it looks pretty good and yeah not bad of course it lights up red changed the purple uh, uv led got rid of that got a red one in there 
still has the four sounds, but I actually quite like this on this screwdriver. It uh, reminds, it gives me some War Doctor vibes, you know. Of course, we'll slide out there. You can see the uh, red and black wire twist. I actually got rid of the plastic tube that was in there, the fake wires. And now you can see the proper red and black wire twist. I've also given these this ball section here a bit of weathering as well, just to blend it in. And yes, you can also, well, you, you might not be able to see it, but you can see I've got a red LED in there as well. So uh, that lights up through the slider channel and it also lights up at the top here. Obviously it's hard to see in these lights, but I could probably try and turn them out. And you can see there, it lights up really well when it hasn't got the high powered light shining down on it. But yeah, I think it looks great lit up. Lights up the wires, lights up that whole section. And it just looks good lit up in red. Like this screwdriver definitely suits uh, a red setting. Now it's out of focus. <laughs> But uh, yeah, pretty cool. Definitely looks better in the dark. Obviously it's not complete darkness here, but. But that's the screwdriver lit up. I think it's probably one of my favorite customs. And I'm pretty sure I say that every time, but you know, with this one, it just, it just is it's actually one of it's actually one of my first customs that i did um and just built upon over the years and now it looks like this i think it looks great um i don't think i'd ever get rid of it because you know it just it's just one of my one of my first customs and one of my favorites it's got that nice red emitter and yeah there's just um something really cool about it that i like uh originally i I actually plan to get a custom metal one of these um, from San Holo 80. I don't know whether you've heard of him, uh, but basically he used to make custom metal screwdrivers back in the day. And I actually had one on order with him. It was called a post-war custom. And it looked a bit like that, but in metal, uh, same kind of color scheme. And yeah, I never got it unfortunately because he decided to run off with a lot of people's money rather than make any more screwdrivers. <laughs> so uh, yeah, me and a lot of other people uh, got ripped off by him. So unfortunately I never got that screwdriver, but um, you know what, this one has always been the closest I've had to it and I'm grateful to have this one. I actually have a, a custom metal 10th Doctor screwdriver that we haven't actually seen on the channel before. And that will be making its debut appearance, I guess, uh, very soon. So um, look out for that one. But yes, for now, that's my upgraded custom 10th Doctor screwdriver or future 10th Doctor screwdriver. Obviously, uh, it's not David Tennant's future screwdriver, but um, I just called it the future screwdriver back in the day because I put that section on there, the end section. And obviously this is called the Future Sonic Screwdriver. So I, I think that's why I called it that. But yes, that's it for now, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.